On the 25th of September, Russian Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov tweeted a video that shows an Su-30SM being shot down reportedly by a stinger. He stated that the jet was downed in the Kharkiv region. As per available information, the hit was carried out by Ukrainian 25th Airborne Brigade. This comes on a day when Ukrainian forces managed to take out multiple fighter jets and other aerial assets, possibly marking one of the bloodiest days for Russia in the skies. In this video, Defense Updates reports how a four-decade-old Stinger is managing to take out the modern Su-30SM fighter of Russia. Let's get into details. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Sukhoi Su-30 is a twin-engine, two-seat, super-maneuverable fighter aircraft developed in the Soviet Union by Russia's Sukhoi Aviation Corporation. It's a multi-role fighter for all-weather, air-to-air, and air-to-surface deep interdiction missions. The Su-30SM is an advanced derivative version developed for the Russian Air Force and has a NATO reporting name, Flanker H. The Su-30SM is considered a 4-plus generation fighter jet. The aircraft has been upgraded according to Russian military requirements for radar, radio communication systems, friend or foe identification system, ejection seats, weapons, and other aircraft systems. It's equipped with the N011M BARS radar with a maximum detection range of 400 kilometers or about 250 miles and a search range of 200 kilometers or 125 miles using a phased array antenna. The multi-role Su-30SM can be deployed in counter airstrikes, counter land and counter sea missions. The aircraft can be used to gain air supremacy as well as for targeting adversaries on the ground using a wide range of weapons including air-to-air, -air, air to surface and guided and unguided bombs, with total weapons weight up to 8,000 kilograms, or around 17,630 pounds. It can conduct electronic counter-countermeasures and early warning tasks. The aircraft also acts as a command and control platform within a fleet of combat aircraft performing joint missions. The FIM-92 Stinger is a man-portable air defense system man pads, that operates as an infrared homing surface-to-air missile SAM. It has been adapted to fire from a wide variety of ground vehicles and helicopters air-to-air -air Stinger. Developed in the United States, it entered service in 1981 and is used by the militaries of the United States and 29 other countries. It is principally manufactured by Raytheon Missile Systems and is produced under license by EADS in Germany and Rocketsan in Turkey, with 70,000 missiles produced. The missile is 5 feet or 1.52 meters long and 2.8 inches or 70 millimeters in diameter with 3.9 inch 100 millimeter fins. The missile itself weighs 22 pounds, that's 10.1 kilograms, while the missile with its launch tube and integral sight fitted with a grip stock and identification friend or foe IFF antenna weighs approximately 34 pounds or 15.2 kilograms. It has a targeting range of up to 4.8 kilometers or 3 miles and can engage low altitude enemy threats at up to 3.8 kilometers or 2.35 miles. The Stinger is launched by a small ejection motor that pushes it a safe distance from the operator before engaging the main two-stage solid fuel sustainer 
which accelerates it to a maximum speed of Mach 2.54. The warhead contains 1.02 kilogram, 2.25 pounds of HTA-3, a mix of HMX, TNT, and aluminum powder, explosive, with an impact fuse and a self-destruct timer that functions 17 seconds after launch. The weapon could be used to take out Russian helicopters if needed. The problem for Russia is that even after more than 200 days of war, it's not been able to destroy the Ukrainian Air Force or the ground-based air defenses. So, Russian fighter pilots often fly low to avoid detection. Low flight altitude also helps in bombing missions when deploying free-fall bombs. Russia is known to have limited stocks of precision bombs. But the problem with this tactic is that the aircraft becomes vulnerable to man pads. Importantly, it's very hard to eliminate man pads in the enemy territory since they can be operated by a group of one to two people moving from one place to another and easily hidden when required. It's unclear why no flares or chaffs were used. Most probably, the pilot couldn't take the action since the low altitude reduced reaction time. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.